there, guys. Uh, we are looking at temperatures in the 20s, 25 degrees there at 7 p.m., 25 by 9 p.m., and at 11 p.m., we're going to be around 24 degrees. So uh, we are going to be seeing temperatures in the teens for tomorrow morning, 18 degrees there at 8 a.m., 21 degrees by lunchtime, and then we're going to get to 26 degrees at 5 p.m. So uh, there is going to be some sunshine tomorrow, but right now we are still tracking some snow moving into the Miami Valley. This is just going to be some light snow. Uh, Mercer County is starting to see some of that, at least some returns on live Doppler 2 HD and most of the snow right now well off to our east moving through Columbus, but we're going to see some periods of snow into the evening as we're still on the backside of this low pressure system. The nor'easter now dropping a lot of snow up there towards Pennsylvania and New Jersey, New York, up into Massachusetts, Boston, uh, starting to get in on their heavy snowfall totals for us. We're on the backside, so we're seeing less and less snow, but we are seeing those strong cold winds that are really uh, making it feel oh, very cold out there. It's a 16 mile per hour wind out of the northwest right now in Dayton, five miles per hour there in Troy, and we are looking at a wind chill down to 14 degrees. That's what it feels like if you're headed outside anytime. Really, the rest of the night, it's only going to go down from there. Wind chill in Greenville, 13 right now, 12 in Springfield, 18 in Xenia, 14 in Wilmington. And over the next 12 hours, here's what I'm talking about. We're going to keep those wind chills in the teens and look as we head into tomorrow morning. Yes, your wind chill, your feels like temperature will be in the single digits. Afternoon winds are going to stay fairly breezy tomorrow, so we're still going to be dealing with very cold wind chills on Tuesday. And then we switch gears. We get a southwest wind on Thursday. That's going to help warm our temperatures up just a little bit, but look at Friday. We are tracking um, some gusty conditions into the end of the week. Afternoon highs slowly warming when we see the return of that southerly wind. 40 degrees your high on Thursday. Our normal high for this time of year is 36, but it's not going to last for long. Temperatures quickly dropping into Friday. So we have some cold air around the region now. A brief warm up there on Thursday. But heading into early next week, we are tracking some deep Arctic air moving in. Yes, this could be associated with that polar vortex, but temperatures right now at least uh, are going to feel warm compared to that air coming in later on into next week, right around Sunday. So it's 26 right now in Dayton, 25 in Troy. Lows tonight are going to be in the teens, 17 in Eaton, 18 in Dayton, 19 for your low in Xenia, 17 in Urbana, 15 through Sydney, Wapakoneta, Salina. Highs tomorrow in the 20s. That's your high 24 in Sydney, 25 in Salina. So we're not going to make it above freezing tomorrow. 26 your high in Eaton, 26 in Xenia, 28 the high in Dayton. As far as the snow goes, we do see some snow overnight. But look, as we head into Tuesday, we're going to start to see the snow taper off. We're going to see some of that sunshine returning before uh, we start to see the clouds returning late on Wednesday ahead of that next system on your Thursday. A look at your hour by hour forecast sunshine into the afternoon, 26 degrees, but still cold and still windy. So the sun will be a nice break from the cloudy conditions, but it's still going to feel very cold out there. 32 again, your high on Wednesday. We see the rain returning on Thursday, 60% chance, especially into the evening. A few snow flurries could uh, hit us on Friday morning. But overall, we're going to be rather dry Friday and Saturday before we see some more snow on Sunday and those temperatures turn very cold heading into Monday. You're high, just 15 degrees low in the single digits.